Look who is back here. Do you guys remember this guy? Do you remember him? <laughs> the naughty man. <laughs> they, are, they are looking for you. A lot of people are angry with you. Oh yeah. What do you have to say about not taking people's calls? Um, Answer. I would really like to apologize to everybody that I'm unable to answer everybody. So um, I really, I sincerely apologize to everybody mm -hmm. that has that haven't reached and been able to to reach them to respond to their messages. Because sometimes when I go through my phone, I'll find out that I skip some. <laughs> I was uh, so <laughs> I know it will feel they will feel very bad. Some feel like ignore them. Some feel. John doesn't pick up, but definitely it's not like that. Most times we call while we are, we are working. working. Sometimes we are in the factory. You can't answer you at that moment. Because there's usually a lot of noise. Or a lot of noise, That's, exactly. Uh, cutting noise. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sometimes I don't even notice my phones are ringing. And the stress in Lagos alone, before you get back home, you will be tired, you will answer some, you won't answer some. At the end of the day, you won't forget to have an unanswered customer. So. Sincerely, I apologize to everybody. Yes. Okay. Uh, is apology accepted? Let me know in the comments. I, I want to say, I, I wanted, uh, he came here to do a tiny job for me. Yeah, he normally does. I'm sure he normally doesn't do this kind of job he came to do for me, but <laughs> he came to do it for me. This is also an opportunity to tell you guys, yeah, at some point I had to remove his number from my channel because once he doesn't answer you, you people will bring the wahala to me. I am not John's admin. John, it's high time you hired an admin. You don't grow. Eh? <laughs> you should hire somebody. The person doesn't need to be following you around side. If the person knows a little bit about your work, that's fine. But at least somebody to be taking that initial call. Because I understand once you take somebody's call, once you take somebody's job, I trust you on that. I trust John on that. He will, like, if he tells you, He's coming today. He's coming that day. If he tells you it will be ready on this day, it will be ready on that day. He doesn't disappoint on that note. But that first impression matters. That's why I took his number away, uh, out of my channel. Uh, some people were smart to screen grab the number when I left it before. So they've been able to contact him when they were ready. But others felt that I am being mean. I'm being wicked, keeping John to myself. Why should I keep John to myself? How many houses? <laughs> How many kitchen cabinets will I build? Come on, I was the person that brought him to my channel in the first place. He yeah. didn't ask me to yeah, yes. bring him to my yeah, channel. Exactly. So the only reason I did that was to because he was overwhelmed. He was genuinely overwhelmed. But you, like I keep repeating, you need to hire somebody. It's high time. person needs to understand your job so that they can answer a few questions. Then they can schedule the person for a later date. That would be better than not, you know, somebody calling, 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 and they don't get... Uh, I know the people calling you are busy people as well. They don't want to dedicate a lot of time, always having to remember to call you again, call you again when you're not picking. So it's not, it's not good. So I'm going to put his number again on all the videos where I talked about John, hoping that John, hoping that this time you take people's initial call. Once he takes on your job, if he tell, gives you a date, that's how it works. He doesn't disappoint on that note. But that initial call, that initial call, you, you guys need to be patient. And please stop coming to me. His number is below the description box. I always say it, or in the pinned comment as well. His number is below. Stop, stop coming to me. In fact, at some point, any email I see, kitchen cabinet in the title, I don't open it anymore. Let me just reveal that now, <laughs> because. Uh, I usually put all the information. The, the, the guys I put their numbers in my, on my videos are guys that I can recommend without reservations. So you don't need to come to me again. I mean, right now that I'm making this video, I know that he is trustworthy. If he tells you to pay advance, like mobilization fee, he's trustworthy. Hoping that he will not, uh, 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 his village people will not enter his, into his head tomorrow. <laughs> I don't, I don't even believe on village people. You, don't, you, you I, believe I, that people's actions are what yes, they want to do, yes, right? Exactly. I like I that. Don't yeah. that. I don't believe in village people either. Yes. I believe that when people want to act badly, they, are ju they just consciously start adding, uh, yes. acting badly. So I don't believe yes. that it's, it's because of Satan or devil or whatever. I don't believe in all you that don't nonsense. Give opportunity. You don't, you don't exactly. Have so, so. Everybody, I put their number. Uh, John, my uh, John, my POP guy is another person. 
if they ask you for advance, that they won't run away with your money, to the best of my knowledge, to the, to, to, till today that I'm saying it. But like I said, these are people I recommend without reservations. Yeah, hoping that they won't disappoint me in the future. <laughs> no, no, so, no. so you don't need to come to me and ask anything about the quality of his work. In fact, we quarreled this time because of one simple thing I asked him to build for me. But this guy, <laughs> he would rather he would rather not build it than build the simple quality. I, I said this is a simple thing. <laughs> I said no, madam, no, this is below quality. I don't work like that. Anyway, we started just just to tell you, just to assure you of the quality of his work. Okay. And recently, his wife had a baby. Baby boy. <laughs> baby boy. Congratulations yeah. for him. Is that is, is he your first baby? No, the second one. Wow, I now, didn't even ask. I have a female daughter. Wow. Third one, so. A daughter and a and a son. And a son. Perfect so combination. Complete. Yeah, he's complete. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, uh, when I called him this time that I came back, he was doing normal work for his wife. Such a nice gentleman. <laughs> it wasn't easy. Ah, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. I have to spend at least like four to five days in the hospital and ah, oh. we may we may do try. Ah. Honestly. Some people don't know, tell it, them. No, it may do try. <laughs> so, it's not really at the point that we even get annoyed. Over nothing. So we may do try. I think we really need to respect our parents because it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Just the one I did for four days. Mm. I know how how it feels for them to have carried us to where we are today. For so nine months and not showed you. Ah, it's not easy. It's not easy. So Hi. you need to respect women exactly. Okay, yes. guys, John needs to run because in fact he wanted to run away yesterday, but I said no, you need to rest. He took how, which one? Night bus from Lagos to here, yes, no? And then he wanted to leave it. I said no, come on. But you know be wood now. <laughs> so John came to fix this part of my husband's wardrobe. In the original build, we had this end open, but having used it for two stays in the village now, my husband changed his mind that he does not really like how that end is open, that it looks incomplete. <laughs> to clarify, we chose that design, so it's not John's fault. Thankfully, the way John built it, there's still a provision for the door there. So all he needed to do was to get the exact board, cut out the door using the original measurement. Then he came and installed it. He also built this cute table for my sewing machine. I sent him the drawing of what I wanted and the measurements and he built it. So John is now reintroduced to the channel. Go and contact him if you need his expertise. He builds kitchen cabinets, wardrobes, etc. Anything that has to do with wood. Ask him if he can do it and he's in a better position to tell you what he can and cannot do for you. Bikonu, don't stress me if he does not answer you. I am not his boss. Neither am I his PA. He has apologized. Hopefully, he has truly repented. 